Hello and welcome back to a Maypole Farm. It is now late October and today, excuse me, we are going to be heavy on getting our last lot of grass cut. We want to get it cut, rolled up and put in the clamp today and uh, my first job is going to be getting the hay put into the feeder and we may have some of this to store so I have to be careful because I want to bail that if we do. So without any further ado, let's get on with it, let's get started. So as mentioned before, we're going to be doing Lambo on the Lodum Wagon. Uh, just filled up the uh, silage additive, we don't need that for the hay, but we will do when we're doing the grass, so that should just sit in there and not make any difference. We've still got quite a bit of that left, I think we brought two, four um, pallets of it, so it's, it's lasted a while, it's doing as well. Yeah, I'm going to try, if I can, to do what I said I thought I was going to do last time out, just get some lights on. And uh, we're going to try and get all this grass work done um, in this video. So even if it means I go on to uh, early November to get it finished, um, I'll do that and uh, I'll try and put it together and although it's going to be probably like one and a half, two days work, I'll try and keep it down to <laughs> 45 minutes max for two days if I can. It's mainly going to be me, you know, doing this and running so it should be able to skip out quite a bit of it or time lapse some of it or do something with it. Because it's not, well, it's not that it's not interesting, it's just that we do so much of it. Um, I always say, and people seem to be uh, willing to uh, go along with that, it is, you know, the bread and butter of a dairy farm. We do grass work. We do a lot of grass work. Uh, I have tried to limit it, so we're doing just the two cuts a year rather than three. But next year I want to get more cows, I want to get uh, dairy cows, I want to get beef cows, I want to get some young calves to fatten up and sell so you know we may do three cuts next year if need be it could possibly be a need be so uh, yeah we've got to find ways of getting the work in showing the work without <laughs> necessarily boring you with the work you know I always hope that you're watching because you enjoy farming simulator yeah? you know what's going to go into the fundamentals of what we're doing here Rinse and repeat, make money grow. That's the sort of... <laughs> that's, that's the business ethos here at Mr. Farquhar Farms. <laughs> get it on a t-shirt. Right, let's get this into robot feeder. Now, once our worker is finished in that meadow, we will move them over to the other empty cow pasture. Have them working in there. Again, I think we have about 350,000 litres of um, chaff already waiting in the clamp. So we should do really well with that. We may have to lease something to uh, help get that sold a little bit quicker. First unload. How much is in here? At some point I need to take note of what the max is. So then I know how close I'm getting to it. It's going well anyway. Right, let's go get another one. Get it full. Now I hope you are all well. Now I am recording this. This one is going to go um, as a placeholder for after the break. So this one has been recorded before, just before I take my week break. So uh, I'm going to say I hope you've been well while I've been off and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm coming back after this one nice and refreshed. You're all still enjoying your summer. It'll be coming to a close I guess by the time this comes out. I hope you're all well. Future me ho hopes and wishes you well. I'll say that. They've gone the long way around. I've gone back to where I started. 
that's not going to help speed up this process, is it? Doing it like that. Now, I could have slowed our day down and just gone to like a five times speed just to make sure we got it all done in one day or whatever, but I want to try and still keep it to the times ten. We've got the three days. I think as long as the grass is cut, the grass won't die off. So, that's the only thing that we've got time wise, and I think we've, we're fine. I think you can cut all through November, so we're definitely fine for that. good. I did contemplate another big um, strawberry sale today. I think we're going to save that. They say for the new year. We'll do that. We'll do a big strawberry sale. We'll uh, sell our beer. All ready for once we've got our barley and wheat and uh, we can make more beer. Do our spirito pop of eh? and all that. Now, I've been thinking of what to do for another series as well, as uh, I keep saying it week after week, with uh, Oot Baylor on coming closer to its uh, to its finale. Really making some moves over there. In much the way that we're making moves over here, it just took so much longer to do anything on Oot Bay. Now that we are, it's just steamrolling. Um, so, yeah, I want to might put up a poll on my community feed. I don't know. I don't get a lot of interaction on the community feed, which is a shame. Um, I would do more polls. <laughs> if I could see that there was a little bit more interaction on just the basic posts, I'd probably put up more polls to see what people want to do channel-wise. So uh, if I put a poll up, please let me know, give your opinion on it. It helps gives me uh, a broader view of the community. I, don't, I haven't put one up, I'm not saying that people aren't doing it, I'm saying if I do do it, I, it really helps. There's no point in putting a poll up and, you know, 20 people react on it. 20 people out of supposedly 900 odd thousand subscribers isn't uh, a great, uh, great call on of the community like a view so uh, yeah I'm looking at maps I've got a particular idea I want to set it for a challenge that's what I want to do I'm uh, starting to take notes and write down on what I want the rules to be and the limitations and stuff like that that's just getting the right map for it So anyway, in an attempt to try and cut this down a bit, I shall keep going with this until the feeder is full, and then we'll decide on bailing, selling, storing, that sort of thing. I figured to try and save a little bit of time, I've uh, put a worker in the Deutz and got them already uh, wind rowing the, the grass in the other meadow that we cut yesterday. Our other worker, is uh, you know, getting close to finishing cutting the uh, the empty cattle pasture, so it's all coming along quite nicely. And I've still not yet filled this uh, feeder with hay. I'm guessing, since I've decided to jump back, that this is going to be the one where I fill it. I took it quite a bit. I've got that much left on there, so we'll see. I can't. Imagine that we're going to get it all in. No way. Already had like 300,000 litres in there. How much can it possibly take? Although I think hay is the one that it tastes the most. There was over 500,000 litres of silage still, so. Who knows? <laughs> right. Is this going to be the one that fills it? Wait and see. Mm. 
No, it took it all, and we're at um, 460,000 litres. Perhaps it takes 500,000 litres. Except that'd be a round figure for it. Let's uh, crack on, get some more. Well, this is the last of our hay now going into the forage wagon, and I've got to say, I am I'm shocked and stunned that that has all gone in there, and by the looks of it, it is all going to go in the robot feeder. In my head, I've been getting ready to do something else, thinking, you know, it's not, not going to go, we'll get half of it in, we'll get a third of it in, half of it in, we'll, we'll have, you know, water left, we'll do something with it. No, it is looking like it's all going to go in, although odds are we'll get down to about 500 litres and be left with 500 litres of hay inside the forage wagon. Uh, the worker has finished cutting all the grass and the other one is still working through the large um, grass meadow at the minute. So will this all go? No. <laughs> 3,763 litres left. Well, that sort of number is going to go... I don't think they ever eat it, but it's going to go in the actual feeding trough. I've brought the, uh, as you can see, I've brought the John Deere and uh, its mowers attached around here, ready to be washed at our washing station. You might wonder why I put my washing station there. I did, I did show it off last episode, but in my mind, as we wash all that crap off, it's running down into that drain. Um, get me uh, window C on it now. I'll jump out. It's going to run down the drain and collect. So all that water is going to run down with our slurry. Just help sort of dilute that a bit, keep that wet so it don't dry out. That's what I'm thinking. And again, I'm just going to say, I've I've not seen that robot. I don't know. Can anyone tell me? Have that, has that been disabled or something? Is that not a thing anymore? I've not seen the robot feeder come out. I've not seen shutters go down in probably two years of this series. We're here all the time. Not seen it happen. Right. Let's go and see what's going on with our worker and our other field. Well, they had finished. They were in here waiting for me. That's why they've only been paid $13. They, dollars, we're over to dollars now. Um, <laughs> I, I should probably take the time to switch that over, but I figure in my head now, the series where the money needs to be correct is the roleplay one. We can, we can live with it being a little bit incorrect here and in Ube. I will try and remember to get that right. Let's get you in here. And what way round should we go? Should we go round this way, hopefully? Want it to be about right, don't I? Want want the width to be correct, so it's uh, less likely to clip trees then. I'm making a bigger meal of this than I normally would if I wasn't going to show it, but I'm going to show you me putting my course in. It's because I haven't shown that in a while, and it doesn't need to be a secret. Everyone knows now that I use course play. Right. So we open it up. Uh, temporary course. Uh, our field that we're doing. Field uh, 85 is highlighted. As you can see, 66 is what we did before. Uh, open close course. Got it same for a high number of headlands. It'll do whatever it needs to do. Create, as you can see underneath, if I close it, I'm just going to go round and round and round and then just do a little back and forth in the middle, start job, come out, off they go. Worker is rowing for us. So uh, let's go get in the Lambo, we'll jump the fence down the bottom here. To uh, 
need to set my speed a little bit quicker. I want to be a bit speedy when I run. Times 1.5, that'd be nice. Right. So now, we are on that silage thing. We can get rid of uh, that. We don't need that. I'm sure if you're better at guessing your wits, you could set that up if you knew excuse me, I suppose you'd set it up with the same width as what the wind rower was, you'd set that up as the wind rower and just use that course, if you saved that course you could get this to run it and it would follow that around in the same way um, perhaps I'll uh, have a little practice try at that and see uh, if that is how it works because that'd be pretty cool if I could get workers to go off and bail for me and load for me, it's them figuring out how to get them to um, drop off and deliver. I think for that you need another mod. Um, I can't think what it's called. Auto drive. Probably auto drive. Com combining the two, I don't know. I've not really looked into auto drive. I know people use it to set up automatic routes for their workers to um, pick up from like grain silos to drop off at cell points and stuff like that and for it to be autonomous. I like, I've said before, I do like doing the jobs though. I don't like everything being autonomous. I just like having a worker every now and then. So, first one. First full one. And we are using our silage additive, so we should get so much silage. Now, I think that's this, this bit, the silage bit, that's gonna obviously take so long. We've got this field to get in, which is pretty much the same size as what we've done in hay and um, that's taken us from what, half past seven till one o'clock to bring in. So that's quite a bit, so it's a good six, yeah, I'd say six hours to do. So another six hours from now is seven o'clock, eight o'clock probably, because we're nearly two. And it's gonna be dark, and that's just gonna be this field. So then the next two fields will be done tomorrow. And then I've got a packed up. I'll, uh, even if I don't, oh, I'm not going to show the compact, and the compacting is so boring, even in the time lapse. I mean, it's, oh, so it's only a little clamp. It'd just be at, at about 20 times speed, me just ramming up and down it. <laughs> so entertaining. Um, maybe it would be. I'll do it as a short. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be it'd be awful. So yeah, we'll uh, empty this load in. We'll check what our actual uh, amount is, I'm sure it's something like 300,000. Might be more. What is that? Where are we at? Because I need to use, move the loader anyway, because I'll faff about. Um, 373,142. 84% compacted, but that's going to mean nothing when we start loading stuff in. Get this rounded out of the way. I'll need him in a couple of days. Up the corner or in air somewhere. I think my compactor normally goes pretty good. I don't go flat, I like to heap it up at the back and just sort of keep stacking it. Anyway. No one's really interested in that. Now I'm sure I programmed this to empty on a different button, but it doesn't seem like it did. That's the other thing. Anyway, we'll do it. Do it the normal way. Do need to program that. Have that set. I thought I did. See if we can get that up at the back. Fill that hole in. She said, ooh, dirty bugger. All right, there we are, first one in. And uh, yeah, let's try and get a few of these done. Well, as you can see, it is <laughs> pitch black. It's 10 past seven, uh, but we are on the very last little strip of grass to, uh, to get into the clamp off of this meadow. So we've uh, 
We had a long old day of it. Right, let's get this up. Not gonna bother starting on the uh, the other two fields. Obviously, the worker has finished rowing the uh, the empty cattle meadow. That's uh, that's parked up. That's waiting its turn to be washed as well. I think once we're finished, we'll. Uh, I'll probably do it off screen. I won't do it. Like I said, I'll probably do an episode of just washing machinery. Everything that's connected up and on a tractor, I'll wash. And then um, next time when we come back, anything new that we add on, we'll wash and we'll start to use some clean machinery. That's uh, the way to do it. We do have. I think about 520, 530 um, thousand litres already. So we've still got the other two meadows in there, so 750 would be a possibility. That would be pretty mental. Crazy. 246 thousand litres, that's where we're at already two meadows to go and we're not using the uh, the grass in the occupied field anymore so we could have more and down to 63% um, action hopefully you can read that it's uh, 557,111 litres 63% compact so that's going to be October in the bag. Oh, hello, dear. Chase him off. Go cool. on, oh, bugger off. And uh, I almost got into my shed. Shed me garage. So let's go to sleep. Uh, we'll get up at seven. Yep. Is this the first sleep through as well? Done. In the series. Do you normally do a day is a day. So seven o'clock early November. We've got rain on the way, but we're just going to have to work through that. Oh, we've got so much egg money. Money's stacking up. Now, something else that we do need to do in November. And, um, yeah, which means something else I need to try and fit into doing today is uh, selling our canola. High price in November. So, let's uh, get stuck straight into uh, more of this carton. Let's go this way. Weave myself through for a bit. I'm trying to think, where did he start it? Where did he start it? Where did I start him? Point at the top here, weren't it? Yeah. Right, let's lower it down. Let's get this field all in, put away. Again. I'll, uh, I'll just smash through this and um, I'll come back to you when I'm on my last load from this field. See where we're at, sort of capacity wise, time wise. So, yeah, it's going to be a long one. And uh, yeah, just so you know, this is all being done one long straight recording. So that's the time we're putting in and making this one. One long straight recording, two whole days at times 10. Let's go for it. Now I don't know if we did anything different on this field or if it's just the way um, the worker raked it so that perhaps we had some really thick rows and then this one that I'm doing now is really thin. But I don't feel like we've had as good a yield out of this one as we did the others and they were all treated exactly the same. I feel like this one is maybe lacking a little bit. And uh, putting this gate in, in an absolute godsend from having to uh, be through like we did previously. So we're now getting started on our final field. Uh, fill this up, we'll get this emptied in, we'll see what our fill level is at. So I have been uh, really keeping an eye on it. 
Willow Society at this point. This video is definitely sponsored by Simulator Vibes <laughs> FM, uh, getting me through these uh, long periods of just driving around in circles. I've said it before, it's a shame. It's a shame about the whole copyright thing, because it's, it would be nice to just jam along and have that music going. To add a little something to it, especially if I had a camera. If we'd be able to see me dancing, busting my moves, pistolero fingers on the go, pulling uh, dirty stink face, all that when the bass hits. Right, let's empty this up. So we're at 60, oh wow, 625,000 litres already. They're going to drop another 23,000 litres in here. Trying to make sure it's sort of up on top when I back up over it a bit so it sort of compacts itself a little bit. Now I'm going to spend oh, an unbelievable amount of time <laughs> trying to compact this. That's an afternoon's work on its own, IRL. So that's gone well. And we should have, providing, you know, this next bit goes pretty well, we should have plenty of time to get our canola sail in at the end. So, uh, yep, I want to crack on, I want to smash this. Uh, yeah, come back, probably, as I uh, get the last load in. Back to my music. So we've just got one more, one more windrow to pick up, and uh, that's all our grass. It hasn't been raining that long. I was uh, expecting it to rain a little bit sooner, although it's past 11 already. Does the time fly when you're having fun? Like I say, for these jobs, um, sort of in-game, I guess it's similar. <laughs> Not the same as, but similar as it would be in real life when you've got a long job and it's, you know, you're going to be out there all day. Put your music on, put your podcast on, and you get through it. And that's what I do quite like about sort of the slower paced play of this game. It's something that does draw me that I can put a bit of music on. Um, if I wasn't maybe recording, and when I'm not recording and I'm playing, uh, it is normally a podcast on that I'm listening to and uh, catching up on things. Everything's always so far behind. <laughs> As with everything that I do, it's always so far behind. You know, I listen to uh, old wrestling podcasts from about a year ago, if not older. So just, just uh, keep you company sometimes. Although there is a chap that I quite like watching. For anyone else who watches this and is also interested in wrestling, more like old wrestling. Um, wrestling Bios, as we is, on YouTube. And apparently he also has, a, well, Spotify and Apple Music, whatever it is on Apple, I don't do that. Um, yes, yeah, so you can listen to them, his, uh, his videos, because they're all pretty much audio, because WWE don't let you use their stuff. Right. But yeah, I need to get him up and going. Anyway, back to the farm. We have 734,730 litres. It is currently 53% compact. This is probably one of the biggest silages I've done on, I think, Oakfield on 19. Um, I did do one silage that was uh, over a million in, in, within three bunkers I used. Uh, but that's only once I've ever done that. This is definitely my biggest silage in a long time. So I'm going to compact that off screen. Obviously, I'm not going to do that right now. But what we can do, like I said, is uh, go and sell. Our canola. So we'll disconnect that. I'm impressed. That is a lot. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I might not sound overly excited and overly impressed just because, you know, I've been sat here for over three hours. <laughs> it's, it's a long time. Um, and I do this at night, so it's getting late. 
but yeah, that is uh, that is a good that is a good cut of grass. And next year we will top up see the dairy, fill that up with silage, and since we're going to get the beefers, we'll put some of that silage in here, fill that up. And we'll, whatever we've got left will sell, which will probably still be about 300, 400,000 litres. I had this issue before, and it tries to fill up from the manure. I'd say before as well, I did accidentally pick up manure. There we go. So I'm sure we've got canola, 72,000, so. Get that, it's probably have to be two lots. So while that's filling, let's have a look where we can sell it. I believe there is a um, oil mill on the map, yeah. Although they don't, are they offering? Oil mill, yeah, where is that? Tag it. Where is the oil mill? Up at the top. Cool. So we should have been facing the other way. So it's tw we're 20,000, 20, 40, 60. Three runs. Or three and a bit runs, because I want to get it all out. Now it sounds obviously like a lot of three runs. And it makes it feel like this trailer is very big. But 20,000 litres is a lot. I've left the marker on, sorry. But at least we get to take the uh, the back route through. We don't have to um, cut up. Uh, we do take the back route, but we've actually got to take the right route. Let's just run over some deer, we'll have that for lunch. But yeah, for the first route, we'll go through and uh, we'll observe the full route. And then the, uh, the other three loads, I'll uh, just show the unloading. I like you to see where the money comes from. Yeah, it's all the way over there, but you can get to it. We've gone over it before, but we've not really been through it. Get everywhere on this map without necessarily having to go along that main road. Everything is uh, interconnected. Get right across either way. And yeah, it's cool. Just around, around. This is where I'm going to end up dragging the video out, so I do apologise, but I want to get the sale done, and I want to get it done in this video. Because then, it'll be good until sort of probably March. March is probably when we'll come back after this. So it's be nice to see what we're doing financially before we get there. I'll just untag that now. I know where it is. That, that. So we got 42, 45 grand for that one. It's good. So I'm going to head back. And uh, I'll get two more, and we'll just uh, keep in the sale. And uh, yeah, anyway, you'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> you'll see it. <laughs> so another 45, and that brings us <laughs> surpassing 320,000. Awesome. So another 45, be 360. Just get 368. And then about a half load. Another 15 grand. So we could what? 368, 300. So 300, uh, 382, 383 grand. Possibly. Be nice. We have our last 11,000 litres on board. We are sitting at 369,000. So, could hit 390. I think we should hit 390 actually, yeah. 
magical. 90 grand. We've got so much other stuff we could sell. We're not obviously going to do that today. But we, you know, when we come back in the spring, we are going to have a lot to sell. Strawberries, beer, strawberries and beer. <laughs> and we're going to have about, you know, four or five bumps worth of uh, milk as well. And I've been thinking about that. I might add the, um, the the milk sale mod so that it sells at twice a day at 6 a.m. 6 p.m. So a little bit more realism because you wouldn't store, you know, 60,000 litres of milk. Oh, look at that. 394. Should we go sell some milk and make that 400? <laughs> no, we won't. Don't worry. So yeah, I might do that. I might implement that for next time. So then our milk gets sold in the background, 6 in the morning, 6 in the evening, or 8 in the morning, 8 in the evening, whatever time it's set at. Um, I know it takes away a job that we do, but I mean, we do a lot of these runs anyway, and I'd say we're going to be... Oh, hey, bollocks. <laughs> we're going to be selling... Uh, <laughs> let's just get out. Uh, we're going to be selling strawberries a lot. So... Uh, we're just making so many of them, and we're going to be having to do the uh, beer and things like that. Uh, yeah, well, what a way to end it. I told you this because I've been going for over three hours <laughs> and I'm tired. Um, I think I started this at quarter past eight, and it's now 20 past 11. Time for bed. Um, I'm going to get this upright and I'm going to head back. I've got a clamp to compact, so just step away from the engine. So hopefully, in editing, I'll uh, have this looking uh, digestible somewhat. First time I've done two days in one video. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy it, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. And it's got some flipping to do. Bye bye.